Welcome back, guys. We are going to be talking about Lopez versus Lopez Season 2. Um, this may be a little late, but I finally was able to watch it. But overall, what were my thoughts on this season? Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, there were times I think that this season was a tad bit better than the first season. And I'm going to get into the reason why. We really got a lot of character development from George's character. From him trying to stop drinking, for him trying to be a better father, better grandfather, better friend, uh, better ex, you know, husband, ex husband, whatever you want to say, and then him, you know, wanting to deal with his feelings towards Rosie because there was, you know, times in the show where he was falling for her yet again because of you know whatever reasons, and it really went into. I think the main thing that got me in season two was him beating on a uh, a pinata of himself and finally just breaking down crying because he knows he's a he's a screw up and he's trying to be better and it's messing him up because he's like okay what am I without drinking and then Rosie getting with some con artist type type deal that that really shocked me you know because it was like okay how is this gonna go and then finally shows how you know he is going to be with his ex but not trying to be with his ex and then he can't decide whether he wants to do or not um same thing i mean again i like these characters i do but there's sometimes in some of these episodes i just can't get behind Chance, he gets annoying at times. I'm going to be honest. Again, I know he's a kid, but there's times he does get very annoying. Sometimes even Quentin gets very annoying, and even Oscar gets annoying. And I'm just like, dude, just shut up already. It's like, I, I don't care. Um, Rosie, there's times she's absolutely hilarious. There's times she's annoying. Mayan, I think she's kind of in the middle. Uh, even George sometimes is kind of in the middle. Um but I think this season, I think that they're still growing as a sitcom. Um, I think that some of the writing needs to be just a little bit better. Uh, I think some of my favorite episodes was where he got, uh, he was trying to make his ex-wife jealous. That was actually pretty funny. Or um, where he goes into the, uh, the confession area. That was hilarious. Because... <laughs> His daughter is confessing, and even, you know, his soon-to-be son-in-law is going to be confessing, and that's when he just likes, like, oh, well, you you know, like, again, guys, if you watch it, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not saying this is a bad show. I'm not saying that at all. I am enjoying it. I was glad to see certain actors, you know, making an appearance on here. Um, I think the show's growing. I do. I think the show is steadily growing. Uh, right now, it's unconfirmed if we are going to be getting a third season. I kind of hope we do. Again, there was only 10 episodes. They're, they're really cutting it down due to um, the writer strikes and among other things. And we're just going to have to see where it goes. But overall, guys, what was your overall thoughts of season two of Lopez versus Lopez? Is it getting better? Is it staying the same? Is it getting... Is it just cringy? Is it is it funny? Is what is it? You know, I mean, am I the only one? Because I've talked to a few other people that watched this show, and they kind of feel the same way I do. Like it, it's just there. Like the show's just there. Like it's it, it it's pretty much you you can miss like five episodes and not worry about it. And, and that's how I feel anymore with a lot a lot of shows nowadays. Is you can miss like five episodes of a show and go, oh my god, no 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 no, I, like, eh, it's not no big deal. That's pretty much how it is. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll be seeing you guys as always on the next one.